just turned off Highway 395 onto Ash Valley Road. And we think this is the last place we'll have cell reception for a few days, so we check the weather. Sure enough, there's a small storm coming in. It's supposed to rain and snow tomorrow afternoon. I'm actually hoping for snow. But this road can get quite rough, and our goal is to make it to Ash Creek Campground, which is about 15 miles up, maybe 20 miles up from here. And Ash Valley is actually a ranch, and it's not a town. The nearest town is Aden, which is 30 miles away, and this road turns to dirt gravel real soon. So our goal is to make it to the campground if the road's already not too bad. And I'm hoping for a big storm, but you never know. And Rudolph's just hoping we play ball with him. I'm really excited to share with you today's video. As you see, Ash Valley Road is really special to me. And it's special because this is where I call home. In just a moment, I'm going to grab my mom and we'll give you a quick look at where I grew up. Although it, this property is vacant, it still holds all my memories. So we didn't have any electricity, we had a generator. We had a generator power. We had stove and refrigerator inside that propane. was propane. We had propane lights. And you guys had a well, so you had we water. We had water. Put the well in, we had water. And, and the water got pumped up. Um, into a storage tank in the top of the. That's actually above the house. So it looks like a room, like a second story room, but it's actually a water tank. So what was really ingenious what dad did is he took a water tank off a fire truck right we bought a fire a, a six by six military truck and it had a stainless steel water tank on it was the main reason that we bought it and we also used it to plow the driveway because then we put a plow on the front of it so we could plow the driveway when we were going in and out in the winter so as kids we used to roam this 40 acres where we guys wanted to go yeah yeah so I think I get my love of nature from mom because <laughs> yeah. this is where I grew up and we had motorbike. Yep. We had Honda a go-kart. Honda 50s, go-karts, four-wheelers. She was riding a four-wheeler at four years old. It was just one with a push button and it was always in first gear so she didn't really go too fast. Well, I remember lots of animals which also is where I get my love of animals from mom. We had every kind of animal you could think of. Chickens and goats and... Cows. Horses. Oh, okay. Horses that one time. We had peacocks. We had turkeys. I know you had, had mountain lions. Oh, there's mountain lions, yeah. The mountain lions used to eat mom's goats. If you want to build yourself a campfire and you're not in a designated campground, then you need a campfire permit in California. Well, is it hard to get? Nope, it's easy to get. It's free. You just got to fill it out. And it's good for all of California. And it's good till December 31st, 2020. All right, we're set then. We're set, yeah. Let's go. some mud yeah <laughs> and it's going downhill in the mud so that'd be good getting there <laughs> maybe not getting back and it's supposed to snow tomorrow so maybe that'll freeze it up a little bit yeah okay if we get stuck you got to get us out yeah that's fun that's the fun part okay we <laughs> got right. it on tape let's see if we can get down in there east of the small town of Aden, California, you will find Ash Creek, one of the most remote 
least improved and most pristine wildlife areas in California, according to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. In short, it's spectacular. And only a 20 minute drive from the homestead, we came here every summer to play. There are so many amazing memories that I have of this location, but I'll never forget my cousin catching a water snake on her fishing pole or the homemade bow and arrow contest that we had one weekend and my niece catching her very first fish and this is why this is my most favorite boondocking spot ever Carrie decided to go get some firewood. Looks like she's bringing two whole trees with her. Did you grab full length trees? I found the firewood. Yay. All right, hang on. Let me give you a hand. Wait, wait, wait. Look how long this one is. Wow. It's like it's 30 feet long. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Well, I was gonna help. Looks like you got it. What did you used to say about my name? Yeah, I don't call you Carrie for nothing. <laughs> you got it. Ooh. Only like ten more to go. <laughs> Now we were in the same spot two years ago when a ranger came by and we did not have a campfire permit. And he told us it was gonna be a $600 ticket. And we thought he was joking. And he said, I'm not joking. But he was nice enough to give us a campfire permit. So just go to any Forest Service office, they're free of charge, they're good to the end of the calendar year. One thing I like about Modoc County is it has the bluest skies in all of California that I've ever seen. And it seems like every time we come over here, super blue skies, I'm like, wow, I didn't know the sky was that bright. This trail has been following alongside a cedar, a cedar grove, one of the larger ones I've seen. And then all of a sudden this tree pops up here, right behind Carrie. And I don't know if you can tell, but this is probably the largest cedar tree that I have ever seen. It is huge. It makes me want to know how old it is. 
pretty darn cool. How are you doing? I'm getting tired. <laughs> it's getting steep. I think we've only got about a half more mile. You said that every time. So this trail was heavily marked with markers earlier. And as we've been going, all the markers stopped. So I don't know if we're on the wrong road or if we're still heading the right direction. And it's getting steep and icy. But it does clamp on things. Is that what they're called? Cramp on? Yeah, yeah, they go right onto your shoes. But we're this close. I know, we can see kind of the top of the hill. Oh. So I'm hoping within the next mile we make it to the top and at least get a view. Well, this is as far as we're gonna go up this hill. Every time we go around a corner, we still can't see the top. And I really wanna get the drone up in the air just to see how far we are from the end of the trail. But it, the wind is howling. And it's getting late in the day, temperature's already dropping. Rudel's got a little beard that's starting to freeze. It's definitely below freezing. What do you think, Carrie? I think it's time to call it, unfortunately. There's clouds. Yeah. I don't wanna get stuck up here. Yeah, and we're, we're at a... 5,900 feet. Yep, I thought we were right around 6,000 so feet. We'll see what it is when we started, when we get back to the van. Yeah, it's been a pretty cool hike. I really enjoyed the contrast from the valley of sagebrush to the thick trees and snow of the mountains. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm gonna try to capture the wind blowing off this snow, right up this little embankment, turning into sparkles.
if you come here, there is no cell reception. It is extremely remote. There's no trash cans, there's no toilets. It's dispersed camping at its best. Pack it in, pack it out. There is a campground about four miles away that does have water and a toilet, and, but the spots just aren't that good. We didn't like it at all. There's like 10 spots all really crammed together. So we prefer the Dan Ryan Road way more. Yeah, that's for sure. With how many campgrounds along this road? We counted 10. So in 2.7 miles, there's 10 superb campgrounds right next to the creek. Yeah, and not only are they right next to the water, but they're spacious. You could get mm -hmm. quite a few different vehicles in there or even big camper. Yes. Now the fishing here is fantastic. The fishing here is great. Mm -hmm. There is German brown trout, rainbow, and brook trout. So it is hard not to catch any fish. The season opens the last Saturday. It's hard for you not to catch any fish. <laughs> I usually catch my limit within an hour here. I it's, don't catch any. It's, it's that good. <laughs> yeah, so you were saying fishing opens? Last Saturday in April, all the way till I think it's mid-November. You'll definitely have to check the regulations. You will also need a fire permit. California yes. is really strict. You can get mm -hmm. those for free. There's one in Aden and one in Alturas at yes. the ranger cool. stations. They're very easy to get. They're free. They're good for a year. Also, speaking of the ranger stations, you can fill up your water at the ranger station in Aden, which is 12 miles away. Yeah, that's very handy. Yeah. Also, we were going to talk about... Predators. Predators, yes. So we are very remote. We know there's mountain lions. We know there's bobcat. We saw a bobcat this morning. Most and likely there's bear here too. Mm -hmm. We just haven't seen one yet. Yeah. So if you're going to bring small pets or you have small kids with you, keep a close eye on them. Anything else that we forgot? If you come here, I hope you enjoy it as much yeah. as we do. This is one of our favorite spots. We're definitely coming back. Now, this is March, so this is still winter for this area. This should all be covered with snow right now. So if you come in the summer, it's going to be the most gorgeous shade of green you've ever yeah. seen. Yeah, it's a big lush green yeah. meadow full of flowers. We so, appreciate you watching our videos, and we'll catch you next time. Happy boondocking. Broad daylight, bobcat right next to us. Oh, Brutal did not like it. Good job, Brutal. You told us all about it, didn't you? You're a good watchdog. You still see it? Just barely. Every once in a while, I see it move through the trees, but it's getting far away now. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron or check out our new merchandise at oneadvancerattatime.com. We also have stickers available in our website store. Thank you for watching.